We're going to talk a little bit about the industry of real estate in the, in the second half of the show here. And what I mean by that is why would someone get into the business or get out of the business right now? If you're watching headlines in the news, everyone's basically begging for a recession right now. They're really excited to talk about layoffs. Uh, and, and the Fed seems to be super excited to create unemployment, which is just a, absurd and strange to me. But people are really fired up to talk about all the negative impacts, and hopefully they can create this domino effect of destruction in the economy. And I'm not making any of that up, believe it or not. Those are real things. So we're going to talk about, I'll, just, I'll, 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 uh, I'll burn the lead here. I'll give away the punchline. We're going to talk about why we believe this is a great time to be in residential real estate, mortgage, to get into the business, but, it's a big but, but we're gonna talk about why so many people get it wrong and why so many of the people that would be getting into the business right now will statistically likely fail and why so many people are leaving the business of residential real estate, whether that's contracting, home building, uh, real estate agent sales, mortgage lending, we're going to cover sort of the spectrum. And let me just say up front, part of why we're talking about this blatantly is that here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, we're looking to add two new people. And we'd like to make sure that our friends and our neighbors know exactly what the market looks like right now. And we're going to let you hear from Gibson, our newest team member right now. And Gibson, we'll, we'll turn you loose on the mic here in a second and let you just share whatever you want to share. Zero prep about what it looks like to investigate our team, jump onto the team, and be trained to go and be world-class at real estate. All right, uh, Gibson, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the team, but not welcome to real estate because you were doing this for a little while before us. We'll get into that in a second. Welcome. Howdy, y'all. Look at that. Wow. Look, straight out of Abilene, Howdy, West y'all. Texas. I'm from Texas. Howdy. Listen, that wasn't the classiest was thing you've ever done, but I love it when you do that <laughs> accent. All right, Gibson, uh, let the folks know. Here's what I think people would actually care about, right? So you were in real estate for about a year. And typically when we invite people to our team, we do not want more than a year or so of experience. And the reason for that is most of the traditional habits of residential real estate are not habits of success. They typically don't serve the client well or honestly the real estate agent well. So um, why did you come to the Todd Romani Home Selling Team? Ultimately, because the, the year in real estate that I was partaking in was tremendously overwhelming as a single agent and just throwing stuff against the wall and trying to see what sticks and didn't have a great time doing that. Now, to be clear, Gibson will be humble about this. He did have a successful year of sales, but he didn't enjoy the experience. And I'll let you expand on that. But I want to brag on you a little bit. He, he figured it out better than most. 95% and no one knows if that statistic is exactly accurate, but the national association says somewhere between 85 and 95% of agents don't survive two years. They don't even, they never renew their license, which is required at year two. Most of them are not even full time during those first two years. So you were already like top three to 4% of all new agents in that you survived, that you made a living, that you were able to find clients and, and close deals. So, leaving that as just kind of table stakes. You were, you did well from a technical perspective, but you were not really excited about the future that that was creating for you and your family. Is that right? Yeah. Most accurate. Okay. So what were you looking for when you started thinking about evaluating some options outside of what you were already doing? So I say this jokingly, but I never officially put my name in the transfer portal per se. I wasn't taking interviews or anything like love, that. Love it. Um, a NIL. Well, there's yeah. some NIL maybe going on. He went to Mavs game on me this week. Yeah, that was enjoyable. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Um, but really, we, myself and a partner where I was at JPAR, larger brokerage here in DFW, we were looking to create a team, but really the camaraderie was our highest priority of what that team would bring. It wasn't necessarily, hey, leads, amounts, this is what will generate for you, whatever it may be. It was just the camaraderie piece. And I constantly ran into walls, whether it was, hey, what's the amount of money you're making? What are the deals you're doing? And literally in one of those conversations was, what's your social media following? And I can't say what? that that was my highest priority when it came <laughs> to doing business in real estate. 
Yeah, and let, let me say one thing very clearly. You know, JPAR is a great company. I don't think your move had anything to do with, you know, any negatives towards the broker or the company. It was just the environment and the culture and the growth opportunity that you were looking for. Does that sound right? Yeah, absolutely. JPAR does everything to a T that they say they're going to do. Yep. And if you have the ability to put your head down and be disciplined agent and do business and make relationships, you can do that within their system, in yep. which I've, I found in my first year. Yeah. And there's other places that are, you know, they're doing a great job and keeping their word and, and creating success for folks. Our environment is one of interdependence. Uh, you know, I, I just believe that we were created for a community. I believe that I've got unique gifts and abilities, and then I've got some pretty unique weaknesses and lack of ability. And there's more of that than the giftedness, right? I'm pretty good at a few things. And I'm generally like decent or worse at everything else. And I'm just a believer that's true for everyone. When we're looking for someone, we're looking for someone that's going to succeed here at the top Tremonti home selling team. You know, we're looking for people that are competitive, that love to win, that want to grow, that are never satisfied with, hey, I'm hitting my income number, but they want to get better. They want to deliver more value to the client. Uh, they do want to grow individually, but they also want to be challenged and pushed and encouraged by a team. And they want to do those things for others as well. Everyone here is a leader. No one's showing up here to blindly be led to your point, Gibson, like, hey, can you give me leads? Can you tell me what to do? Can you show me how to live? Right. There are some elements of that where we can all grow together. But we're looking for people that are already probably pretty happy where you are, but maybe feeling somewhat limited in your ability to grow and build the life you want to live. Our battle cry around here at the Tatramani Home Selling Team is we want to build a business that supports the life you want to live. And ideally, the business is also the life you want to live. You're getting to be kind and generous and thoughtful, share your gifts with the world to have impact for a long, long time, hopefully eternally. And I, the people that are successful with us that stay six, seven, eight years, like many have, uh, and longer, numbers are climbing every day, um, want those things. Does that sound like uh, what you've jumped into here recently, Gibson? Yeah, most definitely. The biggest value add is that community piece. Yeah. I have that structured in my life in different areas for that exact reason. And I wasn't finding that in real estate. And so to find this system that Todd and Dallas Home Realty has created is just like totally mirroring exactly where I have it set up in other areas of my life. 